are seeing brother and sister. They were studying in school when the school got bombed. As it Our international institutions and norms mean absolutely nothing if we can just sit here and pretend we won't be sanctioning Iran or China for committing the same crime that Israel is committing. We have all this a plethora, a multitude of um, narratives that are coming from the ground in Gaza that are telling us it's a genocide. And for so many, that has not been enough to wake them up. Majority of her body has been burned. There are no pain medications available. With uh, children that we saw during our visit to Gaza, they are dealing with the most critical injuries imaginable in a non-existing healthcare system, and that's on the on the top of enforced starvation due to the Israeli blockade. Thousands of trucks literally standing on, on the Egyptian side of the um, border. And on the other side, just half a kilometer away, there were small children dying with hunger. And there's also reports of these trucks having their supplies and food expire, and they're just throwing them out um, before they even enter Rafa. Oh. organization recommended us to screen for severe malnutrition through um, uh, measuring the circumference of the upper arm with a tape measure, which we also didn't have, um, which made it challenging. But there were patients that I saw that I didn't even need a tape measure to understand that they were severely malnourished. going to send the equipment there, as well as we are working towards building a field hospital with a couple of other organizations. He had brain injuries, facial injuries. government and the Western elected leaders who have in enabled it should absolutely be dragged to the Hague to face the same justice the world gave, um, you know, the criminals of the Bosnian genocide. I will continue um, to do everything within my power um, and privilege as a Canadian uh, to be able to uh, contribute to the end of this siege on Gaza.